Okay, today we're going to look at the K&N High Performance Oil Filter, number HP-2009, and the Purelator 1 Oil Filter, number PL-20195. And I got both of these at Advanced Auto Parts. The K&N Oil Filter costs $17.99, and the Purelator 1 Oil Filter costs $11.79. But you may be able to find these cheaper somewhere else. And these two are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. You get your inner here. Filtration of everything in here. Okay, let's start with the cannon. We'll start with the box. Premium efficiency and capacity, heavy duty construction. If we look over here, we'll see extended life, high flow filter media, rugged steel internal components. Silicone ink drain back valve, thick canister for high burst strength. And if we look over here, we'll see some uh, filters that it crosses over to. All right, let's open her up and see what she looks like. Date code 090420AF, product of USA. This is a sticker. It says made in USA also on it. It gives you an address here. All right. And this is a Viton gasket, rubber gasket. It's a little bit better. It's supposed to be a little bit better than the nitro rubber gaskets. Pretty thick also. And it's on there fairly well. You have six inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. And that's a metal core louvers. Looks to be a bypass valve down below. And a nice amount of grooves there, so it's nice nice threads. Okay, let's look at the Pure Later one. On the box they have it rated for fifteen thousand miles. And KN says all they say is uh follow your manufacturer recommendations. Okay, so here they got it at ninety nine percent. For a micron rating and if you look on their website that's at 20 microns and an Hummel okay let's open up the pure later one and see what she looks like date code f03 p10 c1 nice sparkly color this is a sticker also Look here, it'll say Man and Hummel, Made in USA. Okay, and this gasket here is a PTF E coated gasket, which is Teflon coated gasket, which is also nice and thick. This one's on here pretty good. You have to start it to get it off, off of here, so it's, it's on there pretty good. Okay, this one has seven inlet holes. They're elongated holes. Metal core louvers. Bypass valve down below. And also on these small threads. Yeah. It's good. Put these side by side. See how they look. Base plates look totally different. Well, I say we cut these filters open. See what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, let's start with the Pure Later 1. Pure Later 1 weighs 281 grams. The K&N weighs 364.3 grams. Base plates. Pure Later 1 weighs 114.2 grams. And the K&N weighs 154.5 grams. Let's look at these guys up close. I think the can might have one extra thread there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're both pure light nice base plates. Let's check out the um, gaskets. Okay, pure later on my right, can on my left. They look almost the same size. 
Okay, and any drain back valves. Both silicone. Pretty similar in the size and shape. Yeah, these are all nice. Let's see how they fit on the base plates. It covers the holes nicely. That's another K&N and the Pure Later one. Also fits nicely. Okay. Now the filter media. Pure Later one, 95.2 grams. The K&N. 91.9 grams and let's start with the K&N got a glued inside seam right here metal end caps I counted 51 pleats and it's supposed to be a synthetic blend media but I don't have no micron rating I couldn't find a micron rating for this filter the pleats are nicely spaced though, just a little bit there, but that's usually the case with the seam. There's usually a little little gap. Otherwise they look good. And let's look at the Pure Later 1. Pure Later 1 has got big space here. Quite a bit. Glued, glued seam here. And a little sloppy with the glue also. Metal end caps. Bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 12 to 18 PSI. Yeah, they got a little sloppy with the glue, but it's not super bad. And I counted 60 pleats for the Pure Later one. And this also has a synthetic blend filter media. Yeah, they kind of large gaps here. This this ain't nice. This ain't good here, but it's it's, it's like these are closer together here. And they put these gaps in there. Okay, and so it's got a stamp leaf spring. Look at this. Get it out. And that weighs 7.9 grams. And the KN weighs 9.1 grams. And this is a combo valve, bypass valve. And this has a setting of 11 to 14 PSI. And let's weigh the cans. Pure Later 1, 59.6 grams. And the K&N is a lot thicker. It's 103.2 grams. Wow. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a huge thickness difference here. Let's get the thickness on these guys. I was getting like 0.3 something. Yeah, 0.37 millimeters. 0.35 millimeters. Yeah, that's about what I was getting. 0.4 to 0.5 is usually about average. And on this, this one I was getting, on the K&N, I was getting about 0.5 something. 0.52, yeah, that's what I was getting. 0.52 millimeters. Yeah, definitely a difference. Okay, now let's get the width. The Pure Later one is three point four three inches wide. And Canon's an error. 2.78 inches wide. Yeah, it's not as wide as the Pure Later one. Yeah. Pure Later one's a lot taller. Some of it that's because of the end caps, but it's, it's definitely a taller filter, anyways. Yeah, they got a large space here. Well, you know, I my guess would be uh, the Pure Later one's got more filter media. What do you guys think? I say, uh, let's cut these two filters open, stretch them out, and see how long they are. Okay, here they are stretched out. 
And the Purelator one is 49 inches long. And the K&N is 46 inches long. Okay, let's get their thickness. The K&N is 0.86 millimeters thick. And the Pure Later 1 is 0.99 millimeters thick. A little bit thicker. P for Pure Later and K for K&N. They're up close. Purely is a little darker. Let's take a look at them under a microscope. Okay, so the K&N has the inside seam, glued seam right here. And Pure Later has a glued seam also right here. I give the filter media to the Pure Later just because it's got a micron rating of 99% at 20 microns. Plus it has more filter media. About 30 square inches more. So let's look at the rest of the filter. So here you got, they both got louvers. One's taller than the other, Pure Later's taller. They got different bypass valves. You know, I guess it's a matter of preference here. And it's both silicone and drain back valves. Base plates are a little different. I think you'd probably get a better flow out of the Pure Later 1. And, you know, the, the gaskets are pretty similar. And the, But the biggest difference is the can. I give the can to the K&N. Plus, it's got this little nut on here. <laughs> but the Pure Later's got a nice paint job. So, which filter do you think is better? Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. The Pure Later 1 filter media weighs 22.9 grams. The K&N filter media weighs 17.8 grams.